I'm going to show you right quick how to fill strip or break down this gun, make it easier to clean. First thing you want to do is remove your magazine tube out of it. Turn the gun upside down, shake it a little bit. Make sure there's no ammunition in that tube. Then you're going to work the lever a few times. Make sure there's no ammunition in the chamber. Then you're going to visually look at it. You look down in there. Tell that there's no round in the chamber. Take your finger and feel. Physically check it. You always want to visually and physically check a firearm that is to make sure it's unloaded before you go to start cleaning it. All right. And when you work the leather, you know it's going to pull the hammer back. All right. First, we're going to move this screw right here. Have a screwdriver that fits that groove pretty well. That way you don't risk damaging the screw. If I can hold on to the screwdriver. Set that screw to the side. Then this, this butt stop is just going to slide straight off. You set that to the side. Next, we're going to remove these two screws on this side. These two screws on this side. They have a little washer up under there. That little star washer. Make sure you don't lose any of them. I don't know whether you want to call it a fill strip or a breakdown. I call it fill stripping because when I go to the range, I always got some tools with me. Some people may consider this a fill strip. Some people may consider it a teardown or a breakdown because I'm using a tool instead of a gun that you don't have to use tools with. It. You can fill strip fairly easy and quickly. This one's easy and quick too. As long as you got a flathead screwdriver. Also helps getting them washers out if you got a screwdriver that you done magnetize the tip on it. Makes it real easy to pick them up. All right, we're down to the fourth screw. Okay. Now, this top part, let's see, we're gonna slide the hammer back so it's out of the way. There we go. We're gonna have to sit the hammer back down. That's, that's right. But that just lifts up off of it. Sit that down. Once you get to this point, the bolt that slides back and chambers your rounds is sitting up here in this upper right here. You can slide it out through the back. And now you're done breaking it down to get ready to clean it. So now you get here and clean all this up real good. And clean your bolts up real good and get in there some Q-tips and stuff and oil it up. And getting your upper up there and clean all that up real good. So basically, to put this thing back together, it's just the opposite of taking it apart. Take your bolt, slide it back in there in the tracks. I'm going to put it back over the gun. And I pulled the, the lever back just a little bit and that moved that bolt enough to where the front part of this upper would slide down and seat in the right place just put that back now you can see that the holes line up on both sides and now we're just going to start putting our screws back in 
get them started. Once you got them four screws back in, take your butt stop, slide it back over this. And you know what? Make sure you're putting it on the right way. <laughs> there, it'll only slide on in on one way. So if you got to turn around the other way and it won't slide on, flip it over. Easy mistake to make. Then we're going to put that screw back in. Tighten it back down. Just snug it up. Try not to over tighten it. You don't want to strip any of these screws out. You don't want to ruin your gun. And once you got that back in, you're going to put your magazine tube back in. Slide it back in. The gun is still unloaded. Then once you got everything put back together, operate the lever a few times to make sure the mechanisms are operating correctly the bolts come back push hammer back have it in the right position lower the hammer make sure it's still functioning you got your half cock position well no yeah you got your half cock position or quarter cop position, whatever you want to call it. Goes back and releases all the way to the firing position. So that's all it takes to break it down and put it back together. Makes it a whole lot easier to clean, especially with 22 rifles with a board that's so small and the chamber that's small in here. Being able to break it down like that makes it a whole lot more efficient to get it clean. I appreciate you checking out this video today. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another one. And I'll see you next time.